and Rave not particularly liking the way that Jeremy V does business. Yeah, life's a bitch there, Jimmy. Side headlock by Jeremy V, and Jeremy V not wasting an awful lot of time in this one, going straight to weakening Jimmy Rave. He knows that Jimmy Rave coming off those ropes, the high-flying maneuver, as good as Jeremy V is, Jimmy Rave can go move for move from the top. So Jeremy V, I see his strategy, keep it on the mat, keep it in the center of the ring. And again, might point out that the clock is in favor of the champion. Now, Jeremy V is not one to take advantage of such things as time limits as a uh, world TV champion, even though this is his first TV title defense. But when you're the champion, you might as well take advantage of all the assets, all the advantages you have available to you. It may not get to that point. Uh, Jimmy Rave hope doesn't get to that point. And once again, Jeremy V keeping it in the center of the ring and keeping it on the mat. And, and, and as television champion, whenever he appears on television in a singles competition, that title will be on the line. And your fact, you're defending your title merely on wild side television, which is seen throughout the United States, as well as our friends on the, uh, the wrestling channel in the UK. It's great to have wild side action. A pin oh. attempt from Rave, ever so brief, though. As well as our, all of our new wild side fans coming up soon in Cedar Rapids and Rochester, New York. And, and our friends over in Greensboro and Reedsville, North Carolina. A big hello to everybody there at the Parts Unknown comic book store, and oh, yes. as well as uh, Mitchell Manor. The Golden Triangle up in North Carolina. Lots of great wrestling fans up there, and they like great wrestling, and I don't blame them, and this is it. Your number one wrestling alternative, NWA Wildside, and Jeremy V. I'm so impressed by what this young man has accomplished over the last 18 months reaching the pinnacle of being NWA World Television Champion, and now in his first television title defense against the original ecstasy, Jimmy Rave, showing everything he's made of, a beautiful strategy, and thus far firmly in control of this contest. And a whole thunderous oh, oh. that the Jeremy V response with in kind, capping off with a, the old fingers in the eyes, will stop anybody in their tracks, without a doubt. Oh! And the neck of Jeremy V goes sailing into the knee of Rave. Rave and up. that was impact. Did you see Jimmy Rave have to shake it loose out of his knee? He got his knee hit so hard, for Pete's sake. How is Jeremy V conscious? Well, we have seen Jeremy V in rough, rough shape before, only to emerge from the depths, from the flames, like a phoenix in some respects. Forgive the, the off-to-use cliche. But Jeremy V is a remarkable and a resourceful, resilient one indeed. And I think he's going to need that in gargantuan amounts in this matchup. Another huge title match still to come in this edition, providing... Well, we got three of them this matchup in this edition of Wildside. Television title or television time does not expire. Well, if we could get all of these in in this, this edition of Wildside, this is going to be one for the archives. I would think so. Yeah, there's a lot of gold on the line, all within one edition of Wildside. Starting things off here with the World TV Championship. Jeremy V now in the process of trying to soften up. Jeremy V, you're not going to get a surprise pin on V. I don't think V has ever been pinned so early on in a match of via a surprise. I'm sure the our, our resident historian, Dan the Dragon Wilson, still on vacation, will Hope will probably clarify and correct me at the first available opportunity. We'll take a look at Jimmy Rave now with the head scissors on Jeremy V. V into the ropes to cause the break, but Jimmy Rave obviously taking a page out of Jeremy V's book. Keep it on the mat, keep it inside the ring. We're seeing two competitors in there right now not wrestling at what they usually perceive to be their strengths. Maybe the strategy that they both had going in. That could well be, but obviously as World TV Champion, Jeremy V is going to have to adopt a strategy that perhaps is not well, well known for, although Jeremy V in many respects is quite a, an all-encompassing athlete, capable True. of many of many assets, many qualities of pro wrestling, whether it deals with various geographical bases like a, a Japan or in Mexico or, or in Britain. But as a defending champion, I mean, your attack in the ring, the tactics you take can often be changing midstream. And what you bring to the ring may be oh, different oh. than it was a few weeks ago. Jeremy with an open-handed slap across the chest, took the clothesline and got it with a crossbody. Hooked the far leg and only a two count on Jimmy Raven. Jimmy got him. 
without a running lariat, just tagged the TV champion. Jeremy V once again fighting himself in rough, rough shape. V on Rave on top, only at two count. And being admonished a bit by Mike Posey. Rave couldn't believe it was only a two count. He thought he had it. I think Jimmy Rave should know better. But regardless, yes, a lot of gold on the line here this week. Are coming up next. It will be seeing Fast Eddie putting the Wild Side Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line. Jimmy Ray once again on top for but only a two count again. The frustration factor is beginning to figure into the face of Jimmy Ray. It might be an opportunity for Jeremy V to capitalize on. And of course we have Myrtle One and Slim J defending the Wild Side Tag Team titles. Here this side against the NWA Elite Tandem of Rain Man and Azrael, led of course by Jeff G. Bailey. What a power packed edition of NWA Wildside. Back to the head scissors by Jimmy Rave on the TV champion, Jeremy V. Jeremy 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 of course, the Jimmy Rave fan club in attendance. Good to hear from them. It's funny, Rave had quite a number of fans here at the NWA arena over the years that all seemed to change with this alliance with Salvatore Renaro. Or did you see that nice bridge out? Didn't even break the head scissors, did Jeremy V, and still got a two count on Jimmy Rave. But that neck has taken an awful lot of damage. That neck has received a lot of damage, extensive damage, over the last year. And don't think that uh, Jimmy Rave doesn't realize that. Now we're hoping for a, a dragon sleeper. Could be considered a submission maneuver. It might be one that would render Jeremy V unconscious. A nice offensive maneuver by Jimmy Ray, but look at Jeremy. Look at the champion, back to a vertical base. Can he reverse it? He does! With an assist from the ropes. Hell, that's what they're there for. Might as well use them. As Jeremy V turns one as well, oh. and Jimmy Rave turns it into an advantage, a cover from Rave, but once again, only a two count. I guess a dragon backbreaker, if you will, on Jeremy V. And he is, certainly the tide has turned in favor of Jimmy Rave here. That is one of the rear chin lock, once again trying to wear down Jeremy V by sticking to the neck area, the oft abused neck of Jeremy V. V has had that neck injured by nothing, no one less than Salvatore Rinaro, the very man who seems to be controlling the career, or at least the wild side portion of the career of Jimmy Rave. I'm sure that's a oh, good heavens hanging on to the hair. An old fabulous moolah trick that still works in 2004. Fighting my tongue for the moolah reference. Back press, hooked the near leg, and only got a two count on the TV champion. Don't help your diction, Andy Scott. Good point. And Rave perhaps seeing an in. Oh, oh, Jeremy V sees an in. And that with a volley of fists in the face of Rave. Oh, side rush and leg sweep. Level the TV champion. Jimmy Rave wrapping up the world TV champion like a pretzel. Rave has become quite the submission artist over the last year and a half. Very gifted in his mat work, very gifted in his submission skills. Just ask all the many CZW fans around the United States. A pin attempt from Ray, but I think the momentum of that move worked in favor of the, the champion happily. And Ray's beef somehow is fighting back, despite gutting through much pain, I am sure. Missing Wally with a clothesline attempt. Oh, and both men go over the top to the hardwood floor at the Wildside Arena. And, but they have left it in the ring here as they're outside the ring now. They're, neither man moving with any any fire at all. This might be referee Mike Posey putting the count to him. They are risking a double count out here, and what all these what Jeremy V in particular has withstood as far as pain and punishment in this matchup, uh, it certainly wouldn't surprise me to any great amount to have see a, have see a count out here as V slowly V is stirring a little bit. Rave is uh, getting to his feet as Mike Posey is up to a seven count. 
Rave is back in there first. The count of eight. Can Jeremy make it back in? At the count of nine, he's back into the ring, but I, he is not 100%. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you think so? Boy, Jeremy V getting in right in under the wire. Oh! But V playing, I guess, perhaps a bit of possum, and able to volley a couple of big fists under the face of Ray. Make that, make that five. Uh, we're up to six as the World TV Champion is opening up on the challenger, Jimmy Rave. Oh, big backdrop, and Jimmy Rave goes sailing. Into the corner goes Jimmy Rave, float over on the TV champion, walk up and got him. The talented feet of Jimmy Rave, clocking the world TV champion, Jeremy V. Right in the temple, and, and V putting the brakes on there and returning with a VKO. Although that VKO seems lacked a little of that the authority we normally see. That may have been everything TV Jeremy V had left in the tank. Yeah. I think both men running on fumes in there right now. Uh, looks like Jeremy V is going to that reserve tank. Hey, Rave might be as well. Rookie mistake from Rave. Rave oh, nicely executed. Rave hoping for a shining wizard. V ducking out of the way. It's oh, he sets him this time. Oh, that was it. This may do it. Two. No, the champion kicked out at two. Oh, once again, I correct you, Scott. Don't think it was a kick out. I think a rolled shoulder was Good all point. that Jeremy V had to muster. A kick out was not the in the MO and the plans of Jeremy V as much as he would have liked to. To show Jimmy Ray that yes, there's plenty of firepower left in V. I think the fire is rapidly leaving the body of V. A spinning DDT, a door 20 DDT Ooh. attempt. Oh no go. A VKO that worked. And the VDT from Jeremy V. That's it. And Jeremy V retains the world TV title. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and still world television champion, Jeremy V.